Okay. So can we ask you uh, a couple of questions? Sure. How are you today? It's a marvelous day. I love coming to this high school. The questions, the conversations always come with uh, something. I go away with something I didn't have when I got here. This, this is a good day. What did you eat for breakfast today? That's my wife's good granola. She takes care of me. Ooh, exciting. What kind of granola was it? Oh, this homemade granola with some nuts and raisins especially. Got to get your raisins in there. And today there were bananas on top. Ooh, exciting. Um, what animal would you want to be reincarnated as? Oh my, probably a lion. A lion, there's just something about lions that are fun and had some interactions with them in Africa. So that's the first one that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. um, what is the best random act of kindness that someone has done for you? Mm. Um, actually, what comes to mind, okay, random. We gotta stay with random. Ah, a random act of kindness. Um, well, of course, just getting water is really memorable when you get, when you get that. Um, I got a plane ticket to Rwanda last year, which to me was came out of the blue, was random, and that was super kind. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'll go with those. Um, what are two truths and a lie about yourself? Uh, uh, so I don't tell you which is which. Right. Two truths and a lie. Um, okay. I, uh, I, um, boy, you know, and then you wonder, what do they tell the truth first or a lie first? Uh, I really, really, really love traveling. I really, really, really love, um, jogging and I really 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 love um, my life. Uh, what is your favorite country? Um, my favorite country. Boy if I could get a ticket and go anywhere right now just boom hop on. I mean you know I uh, yeah I I really want to go. I, I can't call this my favorite country but where I want to go is to um, I would like to go sometime to Thailand and Cambodia and Vietnam. Um, but of all the different countries that I visited, a lot of fun in China and in New Zealand. Those are coming up. Jordan and, and uh, of course, I always love my trips to Rwanda. South Africa was amazing. So, but anyway, get on the plane today. I want to go to Vietnam, Cambodia and Thailand. Exciting. Okay. What is one talent that most people don't know you have? A talent that people don't know I have is um, um, I like I like woodworking. Mm -hmm. um, I like building stuff with wood. What is your favorite book? Hmm. One. I mean, there's a bunch, huh? But right now, the one that pops right to my mind is called Wet Engine by Brian Doyle, and it's all about the heart. And then the heart of hummingbirds that the size of a pencil eraser and the hearts of great blue whales like our seven tons that you could walk through the valves. Um, but it's, yeah, that's a really fun book, Wet Engine. Mm -hmm. um, what is the biggest waste of human potential in your opinion? Well, the first thing that came to my mind is um, our senior citizens. So we'll go with that. Uh, what is your favorite shirt that you own? Um, a t-shirt that a bunch of kids in uh, Denmark signed. Oh, that's sweet. Um, do you pour your milk into your cereal or your cereal into your milk? I first don't drink milk unless I have to. Mm -hmm. I, I like almond milk and I dilute it in half and then I pour it in my cereal. Exciting. How did you meet your wife? High school. She was playing the piano, it was student government elections, and she was dressed impersonating Elton John, and she took Benny and the Jets into the school song. One of my first memories. Chocolate or vanilla? Of her chocolate. Why do you like talking to high schoolers? Um, I, I really believe that this is a time where um, 
where you're just making so many choices about where you're going and what you're doing with your life. And I think that these stories from Rwanda can have a really positive impact in terms of service. Mm -hmm. And, and, and um, that idea of service is really important to me. So I think it's a great time. I love middle school too, though. Mm -hmm. And I love first and second grade. And I love grad students. Just all students. And I love, <laughs> yeah. But high school is a really, that's, that's who I speak to most. Mm -hmm. If there was a TV show about your life, what would be its name? Mm, I don't know if it would be a comedy. Um, boy, that's not a TV show. The unexpected. Cats or dogs? Cats. No dogs. Oh man, I love them both. You could you could say both. You can say both. <laughs> it started with cats, mm -hmm. but I've gotten really attached in my dogs too. So yeah, it's got to be both. What is your most embarrassing childhood memory? Ah, do I get embarrassed? I did stupid stuff, but then I wouldn't get embarrassed. Um, uh, childhood memory, embarrassing. Um, oh, probably walking into the ladies' bathroom oh, yeah. by mistake. Mm -hmm. What is something that you've had to unlearn? Um, putting myself down, mm -hmm. uh, smacking myself in the forehead and saying that's so stupid. Mm -hmm. What is the best advice that you've ever received? I like one thing my dad said which was um, what you're not up on you're down on mm -hmm. which really just challenges me to learn the story to ask the deeper why not just the, the surface why but the deeper why um, I think that's some pretty good pretty good advice what's the most beautiful thing about humanity our, our capacity to um, love people even when they when they mistreat us that's phenomenal Last one, what do you think is the meaning of life? Service. Yeah, joy. Service fun. Fun service. Mm -hmm. <laughs>